to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new stamp set Virtual Friends add-on and its coordinating dies. This set is so cute and it's a great addition to our Virtual Friends stamp set that came out back in February. A lot of you guys were asking for desk accessories and a chair for the desk and now we have it. The other thing that I love about this set, it's a great match to previous sets like You're Just My Type, which is so great, and also Screen Time. Those kids are a perfect match for the chair. So let's go ahead and check this stamp set out. First, we have this really fun chair and this adorable little mouse to go in the chair. He's so cute. We have a little desk plant. We also have a cup there that's got scissors, a pencil, and an eraser in it. And then we have a mug and this little banner that's a perfect match for the desk from the original Virtual Friends. We have a number one mom and a number one dad that fit perfectly in the mug, which turns this set into an awesome Mother's Day or Father's Day card. And then a little steam for the cup and a heart. And then the sentiment, sending smiles from my desk to yours. Next, we're gonna use Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. And I love this add-on for virtual friends. I feel like it gives a whole new look to that stamp set because you can use the chair and all these fun desk accessories. And for some reason, I just love like little furniture stamped out and little like real life things stamped out like the little desk accessories. I just find them so cute. I also love the from my desk to yours because you can mix and match that with any sentiment. Happy birthday from my desk to yours. Happy Father's Day from my desk to yours. So there's a lot of cute little things I miss you from my desk years. A lot of really cute things you could do with it. And I feel like right now, especially we're all kind of zooming from home and things like that. I feel like it's even a cuter sentiment to go with our kind of modern times that we're living in right now. Now there you can see I've colored in the chair with some blues and some grays. I love that you can do the chair kind of in any color that's going to match your card, whether you're pattern paper or the color scheme you're thinking of. I colored in that cute little mouse and gave him some rosy cheeks. And now I'm going to work on the potted plant. I really like using those E40 markers for the pot. And then I'm just gonna add a little highlight to the top of those leaves. It just gives them a little kind of dynamic look. And I'm gonna use the same green markers to color in that cup just to have everything coordinate together. We're gonna add a little pink for the heart. And then for the mug, I always like to just put a little warm gray and then blend it out with the colorless blender so that it looks like a white mug. And for those banners, I kind of always do them in rainbow order. I think it just looks so cute like that. These are the coordinating dies that you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're gonna take those dies, line them up with our stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine, and then we'll have perfectly cut out images that are gonna be perfect for putting on a card. Here is a look at all of the elements from the set. They're so cute and so much fun. Of course, that little mouse can sit in the chair. And here I'm gonna take out the Virtual Friends stamp set so that you can see how that banner fits perfectly and how fun it is to put all of the little accessories on this desk. They're a great match for the desk and you're just my type too. Here's a look at the chair and how it looks placed with the desk. You can of course put it right up against the desk like this or put it off to the side in either direction. I absolutely love seeing the scene come together as you add the computer from Virtual Friends. I mean, how adorable is that? Now, one of the other really great things with this chair is that it's been sized perfectly to work with the kids from the stamp set screen time. These little kids are adorable in this chair. So they can set on the chair just like this, but there's something kind of cool you can do as well to make it look like you're looking at the back of the chair. So it was designed so that you can layer the die cut behind and you'll see her hair and the top of her head sticking out. And that's going to make it look like you're looking at the back of the chair and she's looking up at the computer. Like, Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, I just love it so much. And when you put that little computer there, it really kind of fills in the whole scene. The same thing can be done with the other kid from screen time. So you can put him sitting in the chair looking forward or you can put him behind the chair. So the top of his head is kind of peeking out and then it looks like he's looking up at the screen. And I think this is just the cutest, most fun thing. And I can't wait to make a ton of cards like this. Next up, we're gonna create a pretty simple card with this, making our pattern paper the star of the show. And we're gonna start off with a standard size card base, five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're gonna use some peacock cardstock. And I just love this kind of turquoise color. We'll add some tape render to that and layer that onto the card base. Next up, we're gonna take some pattern paper from the Perfectly Plaid Remix collection, and that is the Ivy paper. And we're gonna die cut that with an outside in stitched rectangle. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some tape runner to the back of that and add that onto the card base. 
our sentiment is going to be the ground for this card, so we're going to work on that first. And I'm going to take the both the sentiments from the set, the sending smiles from my desk to yours. I'm going to line them up there on my craft mat, and then I'm just going to pick them up with the block. And that's my favorite way to make sure they're nice and centered. I center them on my mat with the grid lines, and then I pick them up with the block. We're going to die cut that with a sentiment banner die, and then we're going to take out all of these cute elements from the virtual friends add-on and the virtual friends stamp set. And then we're going to bring in Den Sweet Den because they have these really cute books in the stamp set, and it's a great mix and match for this desk scene. So I've added some tape runner to that cute little mouse, and we're going to sit him in his chair. And now we're going to add some foam squares to the sentiment banner and put it at the bottom of the card, because this is going to be the desk grounding area, kind of like the floor, essentially, for our whole scene. So it's kind of a fun way to limit the amount of elements you're going to cut for a card if maybe you're going to mass produce a couple of these. So you'll see I'm going to kind of lay the chair there first, and then I added some tape runner to the back of the desk and put the desk down first, because I want the desk to be with tape runner, but the chair to be with foam dots and by placing the chair there it kind of gave me the placement for the desk and now I can put the chair in with pop dots and that dimension is going to be really nice. We're going to add that cute little potted plant to the base of the desk and then we're going to pile all those books on top and of course that cute little mug and the pencil cup and then we're going to add one more book to the other side of the desk just to kind of balance out the whole scene. The finishing touch is adding the little steam for the mug. Something about that just makes the whole card to me. And then next, I wanted to show you how easy it is to switch up the sentiment in this card. So I went ahead and stamped another banner, same exact banner cut, but this time with the hashtag happy birthday from the original Virtual Friends set, and you can see how cute that is. So one card design, you can make a bunch of them with a bunch of different sentiments, and you'd have cards ready for any occasion. Now next up, Shari is going to make a super cute card for us, so take it away, Shari. On this card, I am going to pair the new Virtual Friends add-on set using these images with the little guy from Screen Time as well as the little cat from Christmas Dreams. And I'm also going to be using the desk and the typewriter from You're Just My Type. I'm going to use some really rainbow paper, this red with a stripe. I've already colored my chair to match it. That's going to be the background of my card. I'm making a square card and then I've used my stitch squares to cut a square out of some mermaid cardstock as well as some speckled eggshell cardstock. Now I use the dies to cut out all these images with the exception of this little coffee cup. I cut it out using my scissors so I didn't have that white border so that he could hold it and it didn't cover up the image of the little boy just too much. So I'm adding my little coffee cup with a foam square and then I'm going to put some liquid glue on the back of him and put him in his chair. I thought about putting him to one side but I decided to center him up in the chair and he fits in that chair just perfectly. And then I've got my desk from You're Just My Type. And I've also got the typewriter and a piece of paper. So I'm just building my desk here. So I've got the plant and the little cup with the pencils. I need to put my paper in the typewriter. I'm not putting it too high so that it fits on my scene pretty well. And so therefore, I'm not going to stamp any of the messages that go on the paper for this particular card. So now that I've figured out kind of where my placement needs to be with these items, I'm putting some foam squares on the back of the desk. And I'm just going to start to assemble my little seam, making sure that desk is straight. I'm using my grid mat as a guide. And then I'm going to add some thicker foam squares to the little boy in the chair. I'm going to add my plant directly to that background piece so it's going to look like it's sitting back on the desk a little bit. And then I'm going to add my typewriter in the same way. So you kind of build up a little bit of depth using the different thicknesses of foam squares. I'm going to add one to my pencil cup so it can kind of sit in front of the plant. And then I've got my thickest foam squares on my cat. I've put a thin one on its head so it can fit on the desk and then a thicker one on the back side. I just think that little cat sleeping underneath the desk is just adorable. So I'm going to layer this over that mermaid cardstock square I cut and you're just going to get the slightest mat around it and you're just going to see that stitching just barely but I think this has a really nice finished look. 
And then before I mount this to my card, I want to stamp my sentiment. And I'm just using the sentiment in the virtual friend set that just says sending smiles. So this is a very generic card that you could use for any occasion just to brighten someone's day. So I've lined it up in my Misty and I'm just going to stamp that down with some black ink. And then I'm going to put that pattern paper that I cut earlier onto a card base. Now this card base is cut to five inches by five inches. And I'm just gonna line that up on my card base. And then I'll add this whole panel that I created using some foam tape so it's popped up a little bit from that pattern paper. And then I felt like it was a little empty in that top left corner, but that gave me the opportunity to use these cute little pennant banners that come in the Virtual Friends stamp set as well. And I just colored those in rainbow colors, and I'm just going to drape that across the corner to finish it off, and I just think it's so cute. I'm going to add a little bit of Stardust stickles to that just for a little bit of shine to catch your eye. And then my card is all finished. I just think this little scene with the guy in his coffee cup by his typewriter and his sleeping cat is just adorable. Thank you so much for this super cute card, Shari. I think it's so sweet. And the cat and the typewriter totally make the card. So next up, we have some beautiful cards by the design team. And first up, we have this gorgeous card by Grace. I love how she die cut that circle window to highlight the scene. And then the hello letters cut out of the holographic card sock. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. This card by Rebecca is so sweet. I love how she used one of the new Just Stitching Scallop Circles to highlight her scene and the banner on the desk is so adorable. This card by Maureen is so sweet. I love that they're all playing video games. They've got the video game controllers from screen time and it's adorable. This card by Elise is awesome. I love that she used the screen time girl and that she's holding a little envelope there. So perfect for the sending smile sentiment. Megan blew me away with this card. She combined so many elements from different sets to create the cutest little boy's room. Oh my gosh, I just love how he's chatting with his grandparents too. Mindy created a reveal wheel card with virtual friends and adding that chair from the add-on just makes the whole scene. I love this card by Lynette so much. I love that all the mice are hanging out around the desk and she combined so many characters from different sets. It's adorable. And then this card by Kara, oh my goodness, wait till you see this mushroom house open. It's going to blow your mind. Yes, our favorite gnome is a perfect match for the chair too. This guy is adorable in there. So now we've got the screen type kids, the mouse, and of course our gnome in the chair. This card here by Audrey is beautiful and she used our brand new plaid stencils in the background, which is a great mix and match for this stamp set. And then here, Elena blew me away again with another custom plaid and then the cutest scene. I love everything all piled up, even with that little camera and picture frame. This card by Tammy is gorgeous. I love how she has that ink blended background and the cute mouse in the screen and in the chair. I love Letitia's adorable scene and that wood grain cardstock in the background makes the whole thing. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with this virtual friends add-on stamp set. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.